everybody, Dr. Robert Pate here. Just wanted to share a few quick thoughts with you today about a situation that is common to all parents. So all parents out there can relate to what we're going to talk about today. And that is the situation where your child just for whatever reason will not stop crying. It's three in the morning, probably on a night when if you're anything like me, you could really use a little extra sleep. And your child, of course, chooses that night to have a breakdown. Uh, maybe they're colicky, maybe they're just having a bad night, uh, but for whatever reason they just won't stop. And maybe you've had a few of these in the last week. So we're going to talk today real briefly about a couple of strategies that you might want to try out and just see if they happen to work for you. You might try one, you might try multiple, um, and uh, hopefully something will work for you. So I just want to share a few quick thoughts with you about what we can do in those moments to keep our cool and stay calm and, and be emotionally and physically present for our kids when they need us the most. So we may not know what's going on for the child and obviously that's the first thing we want to do is figure out is there something bothering them? Are they hungry? You know, are they needing a diaper change? And of course you probably already checked those things and everything seems fine. So really what we're talking about here is what to do in those moments where you've checked those things and nothing seems to be working. Right, so you've been rocking them and, and soothing them and nothing seems to work. So really what we're talking about here more than anything is taking care of you so that you can take care of them. So the first thing we want to do is just breathe. So it's something that we do automatically. We don't think about it. Our bodies thankfully just take care of it. I know there are lots of times in my life where if I had to think about breathing, I probably wouldn't make it because I've got too many other things on my mind. So at that moment, be very aware of your breathing and just notice, is it, is it really rapid? Is it shallow? If so, try and slow it down. Try and breathe more regularly and deeply. Uh, breathing is something that we can do to slow down our anxiety, to, to calm our anxiety. And so it's just something we can do really simply and quickly to lower that anxiety, that stress level that may lead us to, to be upset with our child and maybe even do something that we are going to regret later. So, so just breathe. Uh, the second thing we can do is just use good self-talk. So what I mean by this is use positive self-talk to give yourself good messages. Things like, this can't last forever. They're going to stop eventually because they'll be tired. Um, you know, I can handle this. Just be your own encourager. Be your own positive coach uh, in those moments. So just use good positive self-talk. If you happen to have a partner in the home that's available to help out, take advantage of that person. Trade off when you can. And ultimately, especially if it's your, your spouse or a, a long-term partner that is staying with you, if it's the other parent and they're, they're just going to be there regularly, talk to them. Get a, have good communication and have a plan in place for these nights because like anything else with a couple, communication is really important. So especially around these crazy making nights, have a plan in place for how often you're going to trade off, what your signal is going to be, um, you know, just have some kind of code word if you need to for, I'm about to lose my mind and I need you to come save me. So talk to your partner and get help, ask for help. Uh, better to have them a little upset because they got less sleep than to have you get really upset with your child. Um, you may not feel like a good singer, but I can promise you that your baby doesn't care if you're a good singer. Um, just another thing to try if the talking, if the bouncing and rocking doesn't work, try singing to your kid. They don't know if you're a good singer or not. They don't know what good singing sounds like necessarily. So just give it a go. Uh, step out of your comfort zone and, uh, and try a song. Try a lullaby. Uh, you know, think back to your childhood and, and songs that may have been sung to you and give that a go. Um, if we talked for a moment earlier about whether there was anything actually physically hurting your child. Uh, so this is a, a good thing to do if you've done the normal diaper check and the feeding check. If they're not hungry and not poopy, uh, then something you might want to try is just checking to see if there's one of your hairs that may have gotten wrapped around a finger or a toe or maybe around their penis if you have a little boy. But just things that you can do to make sure that they're not physically discomforted. So make sure there's nothing physically hurting them or, or being annoying to them. And if you've got that figured out, then you know, it may just be a matter of staying calm and being available for them. And finally, just walking away. If you've tried all of these things, if you've tried all of your own little tricks and anything else that has been passed on to you from friends or, or from your own parents and nothing is working, just walk away. Uh, it's not going to hurt your baby to cry. They're designed to cry. It's their job. It's how they communicate. So just take a minute and, and walk away. Get some space. Um, 
So try all of these things, and if all else fails, just get a little break for yourself. Take care of you, because as they say on the airplane, you got to put your own oxygen mask on first. So if you're not taking care of you, you're going to have a really hard taking really hard time taking care of your child so so please 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 try these things do what you can to take care of you in those moments because your baby needs you to be calm and present and emotionally available for them all right take care i, I hope this is helpful for you um, if you're finding that you're getting overwhelmed by parenting and you just want someone to walk through the journey with you if you need a little help taking care of something else that's getting in the way of your parenting give me a call at 657-200-8080 I'd love to chat with you and set up a consultation to see if maybe we can uh, get some strategies in place for you. All right, take care. Bye-bye.